Hello everybody and welcome to Rock Solid Productions where in this video we're going to walk you through the initial setup of the Xiaomi Mi Box 4K streamer. Hello everybody and welcome to Rock Solid Productions. My name is Gary, your host for these videos. And we are here today with the Mi Box from Xiaomi. If you want to learn more about what this comes out of the box with, make sure that you check out our unboxing video available for you right up there. I kind of walk you through everything, how it comes out of the box. Speaking of which, we've already got it out of the box. The cool thing about this little streamer is, look how tiny it is, it is very small. It does have 4K HDR capabilities right out of the box, which is a really cool feature to have, especially at the price point that it's at. $69.99 is what you will find these, and one of the neat things too with Xiaomi is the fact that for the longest time you could only get them online through eBay or through Amazon. I actually bought this locally in my local Walmart store. After what they did to me with the Super NES Classic pre-orders, Check there. I really didn't want to shop at Walmart, but I wanted to pick one up locally. So you can find these in your local stores. Out of the box, it does come with everything you need to hook it up. It comes with a power cable, it comes with your HDMI cable, and it does come with the remote control and AAA batteries for it too. We're gonna to show you the initial setup, how we hook it up to everything, and what it looks like here on screen. Let's get started. So I'm gonna walk you through how I'm going to connect the Xiaomi Mi Box to my system, and I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than just about all of you ever will. First and foremost, what I'm actually going to do is instead of connecting it straight to my TV, I'm going to connect it to this little box here, and this is my video capture card. So what's nice, instead of having to show you the TV from a third-party view, you can actually see it uh, as it comes out of the Mi Box itself, as far as the menus and everything. Speaking of out of the boxes, it does come with about a three foot long HDMI cable, which is nice. We're going to connect that now into the back of our capture device. And this would be the same basically as if you were to connect it to your television itself. And then on the back, I do have one other port here for the power and I do have the power cord already plugged in. Now this does utilize like a barrel type connection so you will have to use the cable that comes with it. And then beyond that, and I just hit record so you can see it fire up, it does come with your remote control that we've already installed the two AAA batteries into. That is one other thing that you will have to do. So let's turn our attention to the TV itself. So now that we've got it all hooked up, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change my input on the television itself to four, that is what I have um, my capture card and everything hooked up to. We'll give it a moment to refresh or calibrate or whatever you wanna say here. All right, now it is asking me to hold the remote. Looks like with the back arrow and the home button about eight inches away from the front of the device, which I will do right now. And there we have the remote control paired. Welcome. It's going to ask me for what language do I want? So I want English because I'm not up for a challenge. Do I have an Android phone or tablet? Why, yes, I do. So now I'm going to go and set up on my Android phone itself. And for that, we're going to cut to my phone so you guys can all see what's going on. So here in my app drawer, it wants me to go to the app labeled Google on my phone, which I think I have in my productivity. Yep, there it is. Okay, the Google app comes pre-installed. You can find it in your list of apps. Okay, next. In the search box, just type set up my device or just say, okay, Google, set up my device. Getting started, set up your other device. Your phone's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi data will be used, okay. Searching for devices, Mi Box 858, that's the one we want. Connecting to my device. Verify my code, 2WZ, I'm sorry, 2W2Z1F. 
That sure looks the same to me if we look here and here. That's a match, so next. Device is connected. It's connected to my Wi-Fi that I have here. And I'm going to confirm and use with my account, which I will omit from there because quite frankly, I don't want you guys seeing my personal email address. Retrieving my account and internet information. This all seems so official, doesn't it? And install the app, user Android phone. Yes, I did just sign in. Use your Android phone or tablet as a remote control for your TV. I don't want to do that right now. Almost done. Finish setup on my Mi Box 3. So let's go and turn our attention to the Mi Box 3. All right, so I'm going to start using the TV remote. Google, by continuing, I agree. Yeah, you basically have to do this. Location. I need to allow it to use my location. Help improve Android TV. Help improve your Android TV by automatically sending diagnostics and data usage to Google. This information won't be used to identify you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Setup is complete. Finish. So here we have our main screen on the Mi Box. It's preparing my recommendations. Uh, ooh, I got a gift from Google with Rememory. Oh, that was free to everybody. Android TV tips, play movies top movies. Uh, you can redo all this and change the layout as you see fit. Um, Ebox recommends these are the different apps that you can utilize and sign into. So a couple things that you'll want to do. You want to go into settings here and Google Cast. Make sure that you have Google Cast enabled. Everything looks good there so that's good. Storage and reset. Now, I like to have access to be able to sideload apps to my Android TV. So I will go in here and I will change that in a minute. But here's the big thing I wanted to show everyone. Internal space, 5.1 gigs. You want to know why this system is only, 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 only $70? It's one of the big reasons right there. It only comes out of the box with 8 gigs of data available for you for onboard storage. So if you're looking to use this as a media server or to play games and whatnot on it, what you're going to have to do is utilize the adaptive storage feature that's built into this that will allow you to expand your internal storage. So let's go here and out of the box, 1.1 gigs is already used out of the box on apps, photos, or like should be minimal in, in the rest of these uh, uh, spaces on here. So we're going to back out of here. Uh, home screen. What can we do on the home screen? Recommendations row. Apps and game rows. Oh, that's where you can kind of customize the order, reorder apps, reorder games. That's cool that you can do that on here. This again feels very similar to what you can do on the NVIDIA Shield TV. Search, speech, accessibility. Remote connected, you can add Bluetooth accessories if you would like. Location, security and restrictions. This is where I was going before. I want to go in here and check this unknown sources and turn it to on. That way I can sideload apps if I want to. That's pretty much it for the menu. I mean, it's one of the nice things about Android TV is it's pretty minimalistic. I mean, there's not a whole lot here to bog the system down. Going through just the menu itself, uh, it seems pretty snappy. Um, so it looks like the Mi Box recommends area is fairly locked down that you can't do much to move that around, but you can change the order of your apps here. So what you do, hold down the OK button or the center button that you have here on the remote. That takes you into this. And here you can slide things around. So I want Google Play Movies there. I can move YouTube down. I can move the Google Play Store over here. And once you're done, hit save and exit and you've kind of reorganized everything. At this point, I'm ready to start logging into my different apps and begin, well, the hard part of the review process. And that's to utilize the device itself and see how it works. And for that, you're gonna wanna subscribe to Rock Solid Productions to stay up to date when we do uh, put out our final review video on 
the Mi Box from Xiaomi. Uh, it definitely looks like an interesting device out of the box right now, and I'm intrigued to learn more. So make sure that you subscribe, you stay up to date on everything that we have going on here. Also go ahead, if you have any questions that you want us to answer during our full-blown review, leave a comment down below. We'll go through and we'll try to answer as many as we can. Also, you can email us at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can also hit us up on Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. Oh, I'm glad to see this happened. There's a system update out of the box too, so it's going to auto-update uh, and download that. Let us know what you want to know about this neat little box. It's 70 bucks. It has a lot of potential, but man, there's not a whole lot of storage. So we're going to be curious to see how well it handles with that limited amount of storage on board. As always, too, make sure that you head out to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash rocksoft. There for as little as a dollar a month, you can help support the show so we can do things like buy me box threes so that we can find out should you buy one. Uh, and that will be our next video here on the Mi Box 3 is should you buy a Mi Box 3 from Xiaomi. So my name is Gary. This is Rock Solid Productions. And you have watched the initial setup of the Mi Box 3 from Xiaomi. Looks like it's done. They're working on doing the finishing steps on the update. So we'll see you soon.